Yes. He went, ah, the winner, Danny McCallion. Yes. Mate, that was absolutely awesome. That was an awesome, great, great course fight as well. It may probably be the toughest match I've ever had that I've won. Obviously, yeah. some ones you, you lose and they're tough, but even the losses, that, that might be the toughest fight I've ever had. Jack's just an absolute. He doesn't stop. <laughs> and then if you've got him, like you said, I had that tight triangle, man, and the boys, he doesn't tap. Yeah. You've yeah. got to put him to sleep or break something, I think, and that's just yeah. the only way you get somebody like that out. Well, we're talking about that. Jack's style of being coming from an MMA background is oh. very, very aggressive. Pushing the pace, do you know what I mean? So you knew that was going to happen. I, like I said, I've fought Jack once before. We were yeah. both white belts, so we're very, very green at the sport, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. But he got the better of me then. He got me by an armbar, but I had him in a footlock in that match, and he would not tap. So I remembered from then, I was like, and we all spoke about this, I was like, there's no way he's tapping out. It's got yeah. to be, I've just got to try and outwork him. Yeah. I've got to be the higher pace, more submissions, and win that way, and that's how I did it. So. Definitely. I said it was Keep good. It going. Obviously, you had the triangle attempt at the beginning, and I see you, you roll, you had done everything right. But as you said, very, very tough. Then he had, what would I try to go for footwalk, knee bar, and he had your legs straight as well. Uh, and that looked tight, you only tapping, and then obviously that, that near triangle attempt at the end as well. When he had that knee bar, like footlock position on, I was honestly just in my head, I was like, if this snaps and it breaks or it pops, yeah. fuck it, I'm in this match to go for it. And Jack's no tapping, I'm no tapping, so one of us <laughs> is going to break or go to sleep, and that's it. Love and it. I just managed to twist my knee, yeah. and I felt it. And then when I, as I turned, I just remembered Marcos always says, kick him up the arse and run. Yeah. And I was like, let's go, that's kick him in the arse and run. <laughs> <laughs> and it works, doesn't it? It sounds so simple, but it works, man. Yeah, yeah. It's the basics, they work. Yeah, it does. What's next then? Uh, so next I've got just training hard, but the next match is going to be DCC again. Yeah. So obviously I did really well in the last one, got a points win there. So I'm looking to make that two and two. Yeah. But I've got four matches this summer, like I was saying to you last time we spoke. I've got ADCC, then I've got Chris Duncan's Goliath. Yeah. And I've got a Grapple House Invitational down, down south. south. Yeah. And I'm looking to go four and four and all this summer, definitely. That's, That's the plan. Take all the medals back to Marcos, make them proud. Definitely. Well, that's an awesome, awesome stuff for me. What is that? I have no idea. Plastic, but yeah, it, goes, it goes in there. <laughs> it goes up with the rest. Definitely. At the end definitely. of the year, we got a wee post. All these medals that I've won at Blue Belt, because that's the plan. Yeah, I took yeah. inspiration for Arujo last time. He came in We always Purple Belt medals last year, and he's taking the photo. He's like, can you take this picture, Danny? I'm like, that'll be me next time, mate. Yeah. Next year, you're going to take my photo. Listen, I remember doing it when I was a Blue Belt, coming in, I had all the medals. The one year, I think it was like 2015, when I was right you in the competition. You were competing back then, weren't you? And I remember putting all these on, man. It was like fucking B.A. Barakas, do you know what I mean? Like Mr. T. You, you know what you're saying? You walk into Marcos, you come through the door, you look yeah. right, there's the desk. And medal after yeah. medal after medal. And it's ADCC, yeah. this, this, the next. Trials and you, 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 if it doesn't motivate you to be good at this sport, then you're doing the wrong thing. We talked about it as well, saying that's only the ones that you can't fit in his house. Aye, exactly. <laughs> so he's probably got, got a room full, man. <laughs> yeah. um, anybody want to shout out to Danny? Just all my training partners, everybody that came to support. Yeah. My mum there, she's she's supporting me. I could hear her screaming for the yeah. sidelines. I saw her running. I saw her yeah, running that's over. the first time she's ever seen me, as I said to you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. She's happy to come. I'm glad I could get the wins. Making her pay 35 for the ticket. She'd have battered me. So. <laughs> uh, but in course, Marcos, Sharpie, Jack, every one of them would bind the stage there, get me G'd up. Yeah. I was nervous. And then they're like, you've got this. You've improved so much since you were back then. So, yeah, yeah. I just, all of them, everybody, yourself as well. Cheers. I appreciate it, mate. Appreciate all the exposure I'm getting with you. So. Yeah, but listen, well, ADCC Scott next guy so I'll be on again <laughs> Danny McCallion Total Combat Fighting Championship winner alright awesome stuff it, man. Thanks, thank, you thank, you. thank you thank you thank you thank you guys